asteroids, comets, and meteors. How many things can you think of that are found in space? The moon, stars, and planets? What about the sun, satellites, and space stations? In this video, we are going to be talking about three different rocks that are also found in space. These rocks are called asteroids, comets, and meteors. These three types of rocks are believed to be the leftover material from when the sun and the planets were created. Some of these rocks are hundreds of miles long, while others are only a few feet in size. Sometimes people are confused about the differences between these rocks. Let's find out what makes each of them different and what they do in our solar system. Asteroids are the largest of the three kinds of space rocks. These chunks of rock circle the sun in an area between Mars and Jupiter called the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt has an inner and outer part. The inner part is made up of asteroids that contain metals like gold, iron, platinum, and nickel. The outer part contains asteroids mostly made up of rocks. There are millions of asteroids in our solar system but only about 3,000 of them have been named. Ceres is thought to be the biggest asteroid in our solar system. It is about 295 miles around. Because it is so big, scientists decide to name it a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is basically a smaller version of the eight planets in our solar system. Ceres is one of five dwarf planets. Another one is Pluto. Pluto was once classified as a planet, but in recent years was downgraded to a dwarf planet. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt. It is also the closest dwarf planet to the Sun. In 2015, a spacecraft named Dawn orbited Ceres. That means it flew all the way around it. In 2011, Dawn also orbited the second largest object in the asteroid belt. This asteroid called Vesta is the brightest asteroid in the sky. Every so often it can even be seen from Earth without a telescope. Most asteroids contain craters or holes in their surface. Craters form when asteroids crash into other objects in space. Some asteroids have left the asteroid belt and spun into other orbits. These are called Trojan asteroids. Many move with the planet Jupiter as it moves around the Sun. Apollo asteroids are a group of asteroids near Earth's orbit. This group is made up of over 10,000 asteroids. It is the largest group of objects near the Earth. Most of these asteroids burn up in our atmosphere, causing powerful blasts high up in the sky. But occasionally, one of them falls to the Earth. These are called bolides or fireballs because they are so bright. Parts of Russia and California have been hit by super bolides. These rare asteroids were a hundred times brighter than a full moon when they fell. That would be an incredible sight to see. Comets are another kind of space rock. They are also bright. They look like shining lights in the sky. A comet in the outer part of the solar system would be too small to be seen from Earth, even with a telescope. Comets have an icy middle, which is made up of water and gases that are frozen. They are mixed with bits of rock and metal, too, and are covered by a layer of black dust. That's why they got their nickname, Dirty Snowball. When a comet gets close to the sun, the ice melts and changes into a gas. Dust particles spread out around the center or nucleus of the comet. These dust particles create a cloud called a comma at the head of the comet. The sun then causes the comet to glow. A comet's tail can be millions of miles long. Some comets can be seen without a telescope as they pass the Earth near the sun. Comets come from either of two regions in the solar system. The Kuiper belt, which is just beyond the orbit of Neptune, or the Oort cloud located beyond the outer boundary of the solar system. There are two types of comets, short period and long period. 
short-period comets take less than 200 years to travel around the Sun. Two examples of short-period comets are Halley's Comet and Encke's Comet. Halley's Comet orbits the Sun every 76 years. It was last seen in 1986 and will again be visible around the year 2061. Encke's Comet has the shortest orbit of any known comet. It orbits the Sun every 3.3 years. Both Halley's Comet and Encke's Comet originated from the Kuiper Belt. Long-period comets have orbits lasting more than 200 years. Some take more than a thousand years. These originate from the Oort cloud. Now, let's discuss meteors. These rocks are sometimes called falling or shooting stars. They look like thin streaks of light in the night sky, but they are not actually stars. Meteors begin as meteoroids. Meteoroids are small pieces of rock or metal that break off a comet or an asteroid when they crash into each other. They can also form from the debris left behind a comet. When these small pieces of rock are pulled into Earth's atmosphere, they are called meteors. The meteor heats up and burns, which makes them red hot. If more than one of these meteors burn up, then you can see a meteor shower. A meteor shower looks like thousands of shooting stars falling from the sky. Meteor showers can be predicted throughout the year. If you get the opportunity to see one, don't miss it. They're really cool! Meteors only last for a few seconds before they burn up. A meteorite is a meteoroid that does not burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Instead, it falls to the Earth's surface. Millions of meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere every day. However, very few of them reach the Earth's surface as a meteorite. It's only about 500 a year, and most of those land in the ocean. Although some have been found in deserts or in cold places like Antarctica, where the climate preserves them, over the years, scientists have collected more than 10,000 meteorites to study. The next time you look up at the sky, you just might get to see a meteor, comet, or an asteroid. Three pretty incredible rocks in our solar system. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.